Hey, what's up coin hunters and happy decimal day. So basically today is the 50th anniversary of decimalization in the UK. And I thought instead of doing a coin hunt today, we're going to take a look at both the decimalization 50 pence pieces. So obviously I will be doing a proper review of this coming up. But this was supposed to be for today. But we're gonna, as this got delivered a couple of days ago, I thought let's have a look and see both versions and put both the um, them together. Basically, um, I won't be opening these packets. Well, I will be opening this bit. I obviously won't be taking the coin from the packet. So yeah, we're gonna delve in, have a look, see what decimal day was all about, and just admire a lovely lovely coin so i think we're going to have a look at the royal mint pack one first uh well the year set pack one first just to um because it was the first one to come out so there is just ma mainly one difference to them and that is the queen's portrait let me just put that there so it doesn't fall um there we go so this the one in the annual set will have this gorgeous portrait on, which I think is lovely. I do like the way the um, wording as well is set around this one. And if we open this, I don't. There is actually a scratch there, but I don't know if it's on the plastic or the coin. Um, just because I'm not going to open it, so I'm not going to find out. And then there's this one here. So you can see we've got the fifth portrait there. And was it the second portrait? <laughs> first portrait of the Queen. And the second one, wasn't it? It's the first one. But I do like the way the writing is set out around there better than I do that one. I think there's just too much. I do like that, that clean, cleaner look. Um, when it comes to the front or the back of the coin, they are exactly the same. So you can see all the different uh, pre-decimals on there. You've got the Britannia's head popping up from the um, old penny. Let me get something to point. Let me get a paintbrush. There we go. I'm gonna use one of my paintbrushes. So we got there, the Queen, um, the Queen, <laughs> Britannia there. Uh, you've got, I think that was the half shilling just along the top there. The shilling, the farthing. Um, it's odd that the farthing would be there because I think it was discontinued before, like in the early 60s. I could be wrong. Then you've got the free old three pence there. Then just poking up there, I think that's the six pence. And then you've got the half penny there. And obviously in the middle, you have the 50p saying 1971 decimal day. Really, really cool. Quite a while before I was born, <laughs> but yeah. So in each pack, you get a bit of information about it. So where are we? There we go. We don't want to. So making change. So there's some the info on that. So if you want to have a read of it, um, you can just pause it. Let me hold it there for a second. You can pause it, and then the actual year pack. This is quite difficult because I've put my monitor quite well, my phone quite low, so I can't see it. There you go. So it's exactly the same on that side as it is in this one. Um, just obviously the Queen's portrait is different. So let's delve in here, see what it's got in here. So it opens up lovely. I did actually try and do a scan of the Gruffalo one that I got free with the annual set. And I was gonna do like a little slideshow video of it, but it went a bit weird. Uh, the pictures didn't come out as good as I was hoping. So there's why is the change. So that basically the first bit there explains why we had the change, basically because of the financial sector mainly. Then we've got a lovely picture there of all the old um, different denominations of the old coins. So you've got there the half crown, the shilling, the, uh, sorry, the two shilling, the one shilling, the um, sixpence. Now I'm thinking, did I call one of them in the front? 
a half shilling. I think, yeah, I've made a mistake. One of them was a two shilling. Which one was it? This one at the top there. It's not a half shilling. So my mistake. Then we've got the sixpence. Still traditional, I think, in a way to put them in the um, Christmas puddings. Three pence right here. So that is what the uh, pound coin is modelled on. Then we've got the giant one penny there. We got a half penny and we've got a farthing. And saying that, if I just dig into my treasure trove underneath, where are you? There should be. No, it's not that one. Aha! Should be a bag. And in that bag, a lovely fruity certain supermarket bag, we actually have. This is a uh, who there's the George. We actually have the one penny, and they are si oh, they're the size of it as well. And we have there we go, look, there's a nice portrait there, three pence 67. Let's put that there. What else? What's this one here? Oh, we got a farthing, we can put that on there. I think they're all the majority of them are in here. I don't think the half crown is. Uh, there's the two shillings. Uh, what have we got there? We got a shilling, but I think was this the? There was a couple. I think this is the Scottish one. So let's just dig. Uh, there we go. Dig out the English one. So it's slightly different to what's on the picture there. But there's the one shilling. Now we need to dig out. A, is there a sixpence in here? Oh, there's a there's a better penny. Let's put that penny there. That's got the Queen on it. Um, do I have a sixpence in there? Oh, I do. There we go. So yeah, so the pictures, really cool, are actually actual size of the coins. Just wondering if there's an old half penny in here. But is there? Nah. Oh wait, what's that? No, it's a farthing. No. Nope. I don't think I have a half crown in that bag as well. But yeah, if you just line them up, look at that. You Could you really tell <laughs> which one's which? That's actually pretty cool. Right, so let's get back to the packaging. Put that to the side. Bit of a detour there. So as you can see underneath, you've got a bit more there. Time for, the, time for change. Then you've got some pictures of the pamphlets that we'll put around. Um, to help people know what's going on then we've got the first that came out so these were obviously the 50p was already out um, I think was it yeah 50p came out 16 uh, 69 yeah so you got the new half penny so you can see how it's used to be almost the size of a two pence then straight down into that tiny one the new penny, then the new two pence, new five pence, new ten pence, and the new fifty pence. Now the reason they put new pence on it uh, instead of two pence and one pence and five pence and so on was basically because it was a new design, a new way of life with the coinage. So they decided to put new and then left it till 1983-ish to change it to two pence and stuff so I was very very young but I do remember um, like one shilling as a 5p and a two shilling as a 10p um, that went uh, that was actually all the way up to when we went to the small smaller de denominations uh, so well, smaller coins not denominations what am I talking about then we've got someone's nan trying to work out how much <laughs> Uh, new coins need to go in and you can see like someone else showing out this one dear um, and then the design for 2021 that explains this lovely design and well done to the designer if you ever watched this video you did an amazing job right let's try and get thing so we got on this side we have the coins that would replace the florin and the shilling um, so there's Christopher Iron's side the amazing man himself who designed them. Then the portrait. 
there we go. So it's the second portrait. Got to think, got to get my mind working. So we went from the first portrait there to the second portrait. Um, I think the second portrait could be one of my favourites because it's just not like a close up of her face. Um, and then it explains about the new portrait there. So if you want to have a read of that, just I'll give you a pause. I will attempt to make like a slideshowy thing so you can um, see it better. And then here, obviously, 15th of February 1971 is D Day for decimal. And then you can see there you've got two shillings and then the 10 pence there. So basically, they went side by side for many, many years. On the back, we just have design information. So um, the quality, there's the designer, Dominic Evans, Dominique Evans, sorry. Um, the front of verse designer, Jody Clark, then just the size of the coin and all the information. Then making a change a bit more there. So yeah, this is the day we went from having an old school non-decimal thingies, coins, to go into a tiny little penny. So we went from this chunky monkey. Do I have a small penny around? I do not, actually. Let's have a look in the drawer of magic. I've got like a treasure trove down here. Is there a penny? Well, it's not a penny, but it's about the right size. I'm so unorganized. So look, imagine that's a penny. There you go. So yeah. So guys, what do you think of this new design for the 50 pence? I personally think it's amazing. It's one of my favorite 50 pences and it actually means something to everyone. Um, this actual 50 pence compared to some of the others that they've been pumping out just for profit basically this 50 pence actually has a meaning to it and not just put out because they can and I think that's how 50 pences should be now, why do I have to try this on camera there we go um, and to me like the cartoony ones in a way, they have their place, but I think there's way too many. And the Royal Mint should do more meaningful coinage instead of that. So guys, yeah, so what do you think of the um, Decimal Day 50 pence pieces? And which one, <laughs> it's weird. Which portrait is your favorite? Cover that. Um, cover, cover, we are looking at that. Um, so which portrait is your favorite and I've just realized I've put it in the packaging so we can't even look at it again But I've just realized as well We can use the thing so we got that portrait there Or oh, that's the one that's on the other one there. So which one's your favorite? I'm going for this one uh, To be honest and this will only be apparently in these sets, but we'll see by the end of the year what actually happens um, but yeah so guys, thank you very, very much for taking the time to watch this video. Again, happy decimal day. And I will see you in the next one. So take care, guys. And happy coin hunting. Goodbye.